Bertrand Bridge of the Merchant Navy Comfort Service, speaking to you from London. This is VE Day. Victory in Europe. Here I am in Trafalgar Square, and you should just see the crowds. It's nearly three o'clock, and we are waiting for Mr. Churchill to make the official announcement on the wireless. I'm looking straight across the square, and there are simply thousands of people everywhere. The pavements, the streets, the square itself are simply crammed with people. They're perched on the lions, on the ledges. One daring Navy man has climbed right to the top of a flagstaff. And every motor car and van in sight, well, it isn't in sight. It's packed with people. On the running boards, on the roof, even on the bonnet. I can't see how the driver can see a thing. Even the pigeons are excited because every now and then, when someone lets off a bang, they wheel into the sky as if they too knew all about this being VE Day. It's just on three o'clock, and the crowd is getting quieter. Ah, there's Big Ben, and Mr. Churchill. Do you remember his words? Hostilities end officially tonight. The ceasefire began yesterday. We must now devote all our strength to the completion of our task. Advance Britannia. Long live the cause of freedom. God save the king. Now let's take a flying trip to the Merchant Navy. You can do that sort of thing on a gramophone record, you know. Here's our plane. We are soon over the coast. And there, down there, is the convoy. Two long lines of ships just out of Liverpool, each flying a Union Jack. The warships dashing up and down the lines, while the procession of grey, rather shabby ships sails steadily on. I wonder if they've heard the news. Doesn't look as if they have. Seems to make no difference to them, they plod steadily on. I suppose VE Day is just another day for the Merchant Navy. I say, pilot, let's drop down and give them away. Ha! <laughs> Listen to those sirens. They've got it all right. I say if we cut straight back to Liverpool, we'll just be in time to catch the London Night Express. Ah, here we are, just in time, in you get. By Joe, that was a near thing. Oh, I say, who is looking after this gramophone? Oh, hello, there you are. Do you mind, while we're going back to London, just turning this record over onto the other side? Thanks very much. Now here we are back in London. It's nearly midnight, yet people are still having fun, wearing paper hats, waving all kinds of flags, fireworks going off, civilians, Soldiers, sailors, airmen and merchant navy men of all nations, men and women, boys and girls, all linking arms, marching up and down, singing like anything. Let's follow this crowd. I think... Wait a minute. Yes, I'm right. They're all going toward Buckingham Palace. You can sit through the trees, all lit up with great white floodlights, and hundreds of thousands of people waiting to see the king and queen. Every now and then they chant, We want King George. We want King George, and then a sudden rustle of excitement over the crowd. People standing on tiptoe. There's a footman opening the doors onto the red great balcony. Wait a minute. Yes, there they are. The King and Queen. The King in naval uniform. The Queen in a beautiful white dress. Don't they look happy? But they seem very small from here, bowing first to the front, then to the right and left, to all this tremendous crowd stretching right back among the green trees of the park, cheering and cheering over and over again.
And now, people everywhere are thanking God for victory in Europe. And we too are thinking of our friends who are still away in all parts of the world. For although the world is now at peace, the war is not yet over them, not by a long way. And the war is not over the merchant navy. Please remember that. That is everything, except to say thank you from the men who sail in our big and little ships, who bring our food, our petrol, and without whom we could not carry on. Why, here's a ship leaving London now. Funnels smoking, gangplank inboard, ropes being pulled over the side. She's edging slowly into midstream. It always brings a lump into my throat when a big ship sails away. See that chap over there leaning out of the window? Let's give him a shout. I say, good luck, safe voyage, what? Right, Hi. isn't that exciting? He's wearing a brand new blue jersey and he says to thank you and everyone for what you have done for the Merchant Navy through the Merchant Navy Comfort Service. There she goes, God bless her. Yes, the Merchant Navy is carrying on and the Merchant Navy Comfort Service is carrying on as well. record there are two deliberate mistakes and if you can tell me what they are I will send a silver badge to the first thousand boys and girls who find out the de deliberate mistakes and write and give me the correct answer please put deliberate mistakes on your envelope and address your letter to Kirkland Bridge Merchant Navy Comfort Service Hampstead London <laughs>